Hi everyone, I got a couple of questions regarding the difference between trying to measure inflation and measuring economic growth when you're given nominal and real GDP data. So I wanted to go over an example with some real life data. So I pulled uh, the fourth quarter of 2019 and the fourth quarter of 2020 from Fred. Here are the series IDs if you want to go back uh, and look. Of course, uh, fourth quarter 2020 is going to get updated a few more times. But uh, So when you watch this video, these might be slightly different, but uh, these are being pulled uh, today, which is February 1st, 2021. And let's talk about how we would use these data to measure inflation and also to measure growth, because a couple of students were getting those uh, a little confused. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll start over here on the left um, with the measure of inflation. Well, in order to measure inflation with these data, with GDP data, we're going to have to use the deflator. And what is the equation of the deflator? I hope you remember this. And if not, that is okay. That's what we're learning for. We have the nominal GDP divided by the real GDP times 100. So notice that neither of the nominal nor real GDP are exactly the same. So this must mean that one of these things is not the, the base year. Uh, I have, the real GDP on Fred is, is pulling chained $2012. So that's why we're, we're seeing that 2019 and 2020 are both uh, different from each other. So let's go ahead and calculate that for each. So let's look at, uh, I'll make this a little smaller so that way we can fit everything on the same screen. Uh, so let's go ahead and do 2019 for the deflator. So 2019 is going to equal 21747.394. These are in millions of dollars on Fred. So 21,000 million would be a trillion. And then the real GDP is what we would divide it by in, in 2019, which would be 19 two five three point nine five nine we multiply that by 100 and so in 2019 i plug this into my calculator i will get 112.950 so that will be my deflator in 2019. we go ahead and do the same thing in 2020 we are going to take that ratio we look at the uh, nominal GDP, which is 21479.529, and we divide that by real, which was 18780.325. Multiply that by 100. Again, I'm using a trusty calculator. I'm actually using Excel to show this, and we got 114.373. So we were able to calculate the uh, deflator in both of these years, but that doesn't tell me what the inflation rate is yet. So let me make this a little smaller again, so that way we can keep everything on the same page. And if I want to do the inflation rate, which is represented by pi, the Greek letter pi, so not 3.14, which is what you see a lot of times in your math class, or profit, which you might see in your micro class, but this is the inflation rate, which is always the percentage change, the year-over-year -year percentage change in some price level. In this case, our price level is the deflator. So we're just going to take 114.373, that's our newer value. We take our, we subtract our older value to find that difference, 112.950. We divide that by 112.950. Again, we multiply by 100 in order to get this into, uh, into a percentage. And so my inflation rate in 2020, based off of the GDP deflator, will be 1.26%. And again, please use a calculator, Excel, uh, and double check your work. Because the first time I made this video, uh, I typed in the wrong numbers. So that's why we're making uh, a new one. Let's move this over to the, the right. And now in a different color, we will do the growth rate. Well, our growth rate, we want to look at the percentage change in the real GDP. Sometimes we look at percentage change in real GDP per capita, but here we just have real GDP. So we're going to use percentage change in real GDP to look at our growth rate. So again, the percentage change, we want to look at the new value in the real GDP, which is 18 thousand seven eighty point three two five again a reminder these are in millions so that means you know 18.7 trillion uh subtract that by the old value which was 19253 just going to make this a little smaller and bring it over so that we have room 
times 959 divided by the old value of 19,253.959 times that by 100. We're gonna plug this into my calculator and we will get the growth rate for this year, which was the year over year change of real GDP at negative 2.49%. And so we uh, talk about how the, the, the real growth rate may have declined last year here in the US. So this is how when you are given some real and nominal GDP data, it doesn't have to be the actual data that we pull from Fred in the United States, but just anything with relation to nominal and real GDP, how you can find the deflator, and then in turn find the inflation rate, Right? Notice that the de deflator is 114 here, but it doesn't mean 14% inflation rate. And that's because we are always looking at the percentage change from the previous year. So I have 2019, I have 2020, so I'm trying to find the percentage change between those two years. That's what is very important with the inflation rate. The growth rate, the exact same thing, right? You're looking at the percentage change from the previous year in the real GDP to get the growth rate. Knowing the difference between these two things will make you succeed in this class when we're talking about GDP data.